Welcome, everybody, to Sunderling Inc. episode 25. I am Semilander, your GM, and I have some players starting at the top of the the, the list. I am Holocall, playing a human fighter, also called Holocall. I am Intertoad, I'm playing a human rogue called Hogold Wolf. Uh, I'm Shepard. I'm playing Razman, a uh, human. Vosk is dead. <laughs> I think Vosk is uh, AFK for the moment. I, I am Vosk. I'm playing a uh, high elf sorcerer with the name Var Vergerios. And Zerg is dead. Yeah, I didn't hear you at all, Zerter. I think your microphone might be muted. Holic is very loud. Okay. Turn Holic down just a smidge. <sighs> Wait. Wait, you can hear him? I can't. I cannot hear him. Okay. I, I see his microphone activating, but I do not hear him. Did you hear me? Yes. I hear everybody except okay. Zerger. Right. Inconceivable. Uh, he's, he's, he's leaving and rejoining, and hopefully that will fix the problem. Testing, testing. There we go. I am, sir, playing Grunthos, the Cobalt Ranger. All right. Uh, so, since episode 24, uh, nearly a year has passed. It is now the first day of Jet of a year, uh, whose name I have forgotten. Um, uh, the the uh, party traveled up to visit Satet in, in the ice cavern or Ice uh, Temple, to talk about what happened to Grunthos. While they were there, um, they run across a, a uh, uh, high elf named Vigoros, uh, who, was, who was up studying uh, the Iron Seekers and decided to follow along with the party. Um, they the party then proceeded to head back to Orkland, uh, hang out for for a while. Um, while they were there, uh, Grunthos sent out a bunch of letters talking about um, how like how to find Iron Seekers and what they act like and all that other f sort of fun stuff. Uh, in response to this, uh, a half orc barbarian who's who will be joining us in a little bit once he's done moving house. Um, heard about the, the the iron seekers thought he saw one chased him off uh into the the orc highlands um eventually losing track but deciding to head to orkland uh himself and meet up with the rest of them um uh dd dd -D -D. so the party and uh everybody kind of hung out in orkland for a while um and they, uh, several places, uh, gave fed a rumor to them that perhaps an Iron Seeker was, uh, uh had appeared in a, let me bring up the actual map on screen. The players are there. Um, where you see Intertooth's, uh, Horgold's thing, they heard that a Iron Seeker may be there, so they decide to head off. Um, they, the, the take their flying boat and land uh, in a run-down ruin of a village um, running across a paladin named Razavan who introduced himself and then helped, helped the party fight a bunch of undead. Razavan is here because he heard there were undead here and was following the lead there. Uh, it, it seems to imply that perhaps no Iron Seeker but undead are here, but the party has decided to stay and his working has found a giant hole in the ground. And at this point, 
I will go ahead and drag the players into the map. We're going to go ahead and just jump right in to a dungeon crawl because what, what better way to get uh, party cohesion than have them fight together. So if I could have everybody please put their icon in to the exposed square somewhere. Which direction is front? So Razavan is currently standing at the top of the 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 the, the hole in the ground, and Vigoros is currently standing at the bottom of the hole in the ground. It's kind of a slope headed down this. Issue. Okay. I'm curious. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, those of you who who all here has low light vision and who all here has night vision? I have dark vision. All right, so you can 60 see. Feet, I think. You can see just fine. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. Yeah, you can see just fine. Uh, low light, same, same range. So I don't know if I can. So. I'm dark gonna... is still dark. Uh, dim light is clear. All right, so Vigoros, you can see in pretty well. The place is very dark. Um, the 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 lighted area you guys can see right now is is the basically kind of the limitations of the actual light. Um, but we will go ahead and those of you with low light vision can see to about uh, here. Uh, da, da, da. About right like that. So, and those of you who have dark vision, namely Vigoros, um, you can see the entirety of the room. All right, and I would like for everybody to please roll initiative. Uh, kind of keep in track until somebody points out what you can see and what you can't see. Although the Will-O-Wisps will be showing up very soon. So, uh, turn order. Eh. I'm going to just do it manually because I run the games manually. All right. We have Grunthos with an initiative of 24 because, of course, Horgold, 13. Uh, no longer part of this. Hollock, 15. These guys. Um... I got 20, but I don't know if you can see that. Yep, you did. Yeah. Hold on a second. Two. All right. Really, game? Really? All right. Um, so we have um, V I G E I R O S with a 20. Horgold with that, uh, we have Shepard has a 12, it's a GP, or rather Razavan has a 12, use the right name, Razvan, 12, and then everybody else gets to go after that, so, hold on, I gotta dig out a book, uh, actually, I'm not gonna just do this this way, uh, you, nope, how do I, just do it this way. Arg. Sam and Lander hasn't done this for too long. All right. So, um, first, first, Grunthos, you can see the Wraith and the Whites. I, I don't see names under them, so I don't know what. Oh, what, what... sorry. I will actually expose that to players because you guys are familiar enough with stuff. So uh, I can see the blue one and the two red, two you red see, ones. You but can see I the blue one and the two red ones. Guess. I can't actually see the blue one because of line of sight. I'm guessing that's that's accurate. All right. Uh, I Sama doesn't do this often enough. That's the wrong button. Is why. All right. 
Um, do you know it's, it, there's a way to show two players on this screen? Um, I think it's a tick box in the secondary tab or something. Ah, uh, name C. Save. Thank you. Nothing's shown up yet. There we go. C. Are you guys seeing everything I see or not yet? Not yet. So. There. Uh, do. Do. And. Do. Do. All right. So. Little wisp. All right, and then um, you I should really prepare better for this stuff. Do 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 do. do. And then, or at least roll hit points. All right. Yep. Right. Uh, it is currently, uh, Grunthos, you're up. <laughs> Who are you shooting at? Some, some technical difficulties. Apparently. I blame Discord. Discord's been dumb all day. Well, not all day. Since, like, 8, eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hey, that's super handy. White one. All right. White one takes that me that damage. Uh, you moving at all? You're gonna just hang out there. <laughs> Otherwise, Vigoros, you're up. Hello. Hello, I can hear you now. Uh, something is very weird with Discord for me. Anywho, does a 27 hit white one? Yes, a 27 hits white one. Hello. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, it's your turn. Well, okay. Eight damage and another attack. Ah, never mind. It's not your turn yet. Okay. Does a 17 uh hit? Uh, white is got. Yep, 17 hits. Uh, 
for five, nine more damage. Plus the eight. Yes, total of total of seventeen. Plus the eight. How, First that... attack, seven plus one. Second yep. attack, five, and the thing is not lo no longer at full HP, so uh, Colossus Slayer is in effect. Got it. <laughs> and another Hunter's Mark. Okay. So, five, thirteen, seventeen more? Right. Yep. He's looking real beat up. <clears throat> All right. Now, are, are you going to move anywhere? Are you just going to hang out in the... Hang out on the thing. That's me turn. <laughs> All right. Next we have Vidros. Um, can I tell people around some extra information, or do they see everything already? Uh, you can you can point out where everything is. Uh, they still can't see the Will of the Wisps. Um, okay. But but you can tell them where stuff is at. Like the humans can't see any of these things without more light. Not. How can I send the thing out? Uh, you, you, like with the circle. I mean, you just hold down the button, but uh, you can just you know your character just points, says, "Hey, there's stuff here." Yeah, so there's stuff on top as well. There are three guys I see as well on these spots, so we need to watch out for those as well. Um, and then I'm going to do an attack on white one, I think, is the one they were attacking. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do a fireball. Okay. Uh, that hits. And which one do I need to do now? Is it... Uh, so whatever for firebolt's damage is. Uh, just a second. At level seven, it's like some one d ten. Is it just two d ten? I was say it should be like two d ten at this point. Ah, uh, two d ten. Because you're okay, level seven. Sorry. As as you level up, uh, uh, cantrips get more powerful. Six damage. All right. So you guys see a, a flaming bolt launch out from uh, um, launch out from v Vidros and like plump into the 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 creature, uh, illuminating him and his companion for a moment or two, um, and then it it quickly re regains darkness because um, it doesn't light people on fire. Uh, Hollock. I use my action to light a torch. Okay. That lights up significantly more area. Uh, we can draw, uh, draw shape there. We're going to draw. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Undo. Haha. -ha. So your torch. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, it's uh, 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20. You can see um, this guy just fine. 5, 10, 15. You can't see this guy, but you won't be able to... won't be too long. 5, 10, 15. You can see this guy just fine. This guy just fine. Uh, five, uh, and this guy just fine. So basically, everybody but Will of the Wisp three, uh, everybody can see now with the torch lit. Uh, you still have a movement left. So you can move your speed if you want to, or you can just hang out there if you don't. I just take a careful step forward. All right, Horgold, you're up. You can now see a bunch of things. Actually, now you can see all of the things. Sweet. 
So white one was damaged, but not dead yet? Yes, white one is damaged, but not dead. Also, I rolled real, real poor on my initiative, so you guys get to all go first. You surprised them. <laughs> yeah, I will go... Hmm. I haven't seen that one yet, I guess. Yeah, you guys know them. So you know, guys know something is there, but you're not sure what. Uh, okay. There's like a, a, a like a, a a fine like mist kind of pooling on the ground over there. I don't. I cannot hide with a torch next to me, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Yep. Um, I'll go just shoot it. All right. Uh, you're shooting white one. Yeah. All right. You hit. And I'll move. A little bit away from the light. All right. Okay. Uh, Razvan, you're up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, bonus section, uh, stealth, hide. Um, <laughs> I, I, I will let you know that these are all undead and they can see in the dark perfectly. So you can't hide in the dark from them. You could hide behind something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do. Oh, I'm gonna walk up. Uh, how far can I throw spears? Uh, you can throw, it's listed in the thing. Uh, it's like to range of 20 feet, I think, for yours. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a spear at white one. Are you throwing your, you're throwing a javelin or are you throwing your, uh, your... Uh, the javelin. Okay. I was gonna say, there's, there's a little bit of difference if you throw a javelin or if you throw a, yeah. uh, uh, throw your earth spear. Javelin has 30. Yeah, Javelin has 30. 30 what? 30 feet. So you're 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 well within range. Uh 13 does not hit. Bollocks. All right. Uh anything else for your round Razvan or is that it? Ah, uh, that's it. All right. So they all get to move. Uh, okay, we will start with one, two, three wills of the wisp. Um, they are not very intelligent, so they're just going to go. So you guys all see in the dim light from Hollock's torch these these point illuminations suddenly flare up. Um, so you can kind of see they were in shadow before, but now they are much brighter, and they go one, two. He's got to go to the closest one. Three. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I was hidden. <laughs> uh huh. Um, do do Plus four to hit. Reach five. One creature. All right. So. Uh, D twenty plus four. So, uh, for one, Hollock, a seven does not hit you. No. Twelve does not hit you. Does not hit you. No. Uh, Hor uh, Horgold, uh, sixteen hits. I'm gonna use Uncanny Dutch to have the damage. Okay, 
that's fine. So take eleven minus div two is five damage. I like all right, so the whites are much more intelligent. They see a whole bunch of people there. See one guy all by himself over here, and they go one, two. Um, it's also plus four to hit. So they swing at you with, they have like really crude swords in their hand. Um, a 10 misses. That was white number one. White number two is a seven also misses, I'm assuming. Yep. All right. Um, and... The Wraith, being the most intelligent of all, sees a Paladin and really hates that. And is going to go there. Uh, wraith. Um, they do not have multiple hits, so plus six to hit. Razvan, 12, I'm assuming he misses. You're not going to bring up that he had advantage on his deck? Well, I'll remember it for next round. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that a, a 12 misses you, Razvan. What am I looking at? Uh, armor class. Yeah, your armor class. Yeah, Alright, that brings us back to top of the order. Grunthos, you're up. You have an incorporeal creature standing right next to you, looking very unhappy that you're alive. You have two glowing lights to your north, and a bunch of people surrounding your surrounding your Horgold. White one. Uh, that's a hit, I believe. AC 14. Yep, that's a hit. 22 damage. Uh, white one just... Alright. Collapses. And dies. Use bonus action to move Hunter's Mark to the second white. Okay. White two is now marked. Put a mark on him. 10 damage. Pink. 10 damage to white, too. All right. All right. Uh, dee, 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 dee. Anything else, Grunthos? Nope. Just staying put. Uh, do you have disadvantage since you're in melee range with a creature? You should you have been rolling with those. You have you. Should you have been rolling those with disadvantage? Because I thought that was a thing. It doesn't matter. You hit with the 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 lower numbers anyway. Um, Virgiros, I'm gonna say your name I'll wrong. I'll look. I'll look Plus. it up. Okay. You're up. Oh, it's fine. I'm debating if I should attack the right or the wraith next to Razvan. Yeah. Just a second, I'm just reading up a little bit. Mm hmm. I'm going to do the firebolt again. Okay. On the uh, second white. All right. Do your firebolt. I just did it. Oh, uh, eleven misses. So it okay. sp splashes off of the white's armor. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to move. It's five each um, square, right? Correct. So you move up to six squares. Okay, I'm going to move down there. All right, you are free to do that. Uh, Holic, you're up. I drop my torch. Okay. It stays lit. It is now now sputtering on the ground. Uh, reduces the light a little bit, but you guys can still see okay. With the will of the, With the will lit, lit up, you guys can see actually fairly well at this point. And then I two-hand attack with my spear, the one directly north of me. All right. That's Will the Wisp 2. 27 hits uh, for 11 damage. All right. Uh, 15 misses. And I'm finished. All right. Uh, Horgold, you're up. Um, I'm going to move right there. Okay. As a bonus action, I'm going to disengage. Okay. And then I'm going to move right there and maybe right there and then use my action to hide okay yep that's about how far you can get all right so i need to roll some perceptions um me it's about plus two each uh, no, still keeps track of you. Still keeps track of you. Still keeps track of you. Lost sight of that. you. Uh, keeps track of you. Keeps track of you. So the only one, only one who thinks you think lost sight of you is the wraith. Okay. Do I know that? Uh, I'm giving you some free information, so I don't have to keep track. Okay. You you see things heads turn towards you as, as you disappear around the corner. Uh, after Horgold, Razvan. Yeah. You you got you you got a, a unfriendly ghost thingy in front of you. Do I? Uh, yeah. I attack the wraith with longsword. All right. Um, pardon me. Uh, is your longsword magical? Guess not. All right. Uh, you hit. Well, that's it. So roll your damage. Damage. What was that? Where is that? Should just be uh, uh just below the thing. Should be one d six, I believe. Uh, longsword one d eight plus three. I did. Just now. I. I don't see it. Yeah. Or not. Um, okay, so why isn't the bottom part of that showing up? Oh, that's a setting. So if you have your character sheet, go to the uh, cockwheel to the right. And in the most right field of the three columns yeah. you have there, go to automatic damage roll and change that to automatically damage and crit. Uh... uh, uh... 
it's each player needs to do that. We did that already uh, there earlier on. I changed it for you. Okay. Uh, Horgold, you already did yours. You said. Uh, yeah. Uh, Grantos, uh, me, and Holocol are fine. Change. I'm not. I, I'm working on it. Auto roll damage okay. and crit. Ah, there it is. And Mord as well. Since once he gets here, auto roll damage and crit. There we go. That saves a bunch of time. Yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, uh, here. Nine. We'll go with the nine damage. You you swing your you swing your sword at it. It doesn't seem to do anything. Your your sword passes through it as if it was a ghost. Uh, knowledge religion, please. While we move on to will of the wisp time, yay! Uh, can I just roll those from the journal? I probably can. Uh, the GTD. Can I pop this out? Ha ha! Nope. Shh, there we go. Ha ha! I'm making my job easier. Uh, nine at Holic misses. Uh, or no. Eight at Holic misses and ten at Holic misses. All right, so you have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Oh yeah. V well, you're gonna go here and swing. Uh, twenty-three to hit you. <laughs> yeah, I think that hits. Uh, take four lightning damage, please. And then. After after the will wisp, it's the white's turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I just did. Pop you open, pop you out, move you over here. Oh, the white makes two or two longbow. Sweet. So life drain attack. Uh, does that a critical? Does a critical hit you? Yeah, I'm gonna dodge that one. Uh, so uh, take um, uh, D D D. So you you take half of this damage, but um, you take uh four plus five, so um. Wow. So nine necrotic uh, drains your maximum hit points by four. So you take four necrotic, half of your hit points by four. Unless I save constitution. Yep, unless you save constitution. Thirteen. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> maximum hit points? Yeah, you, the, the, the life drain attack lowers your maximum hit points by the amount of damage that it does until you take a long rest. And then it's second attack, 21 to hit you. That hits. All right. Four slashing. That's just normal damage, not necrotic. And now we're going to pop out this guy. Uh, no, that's already open. Uh, that guy. Ha! I love the journal in this game. All right. Uh, life drain. Uh, Razvan? Does a 23 hit you? Uh. Yeah? So, oh. Take... <laughs> 26 necrotic damage. Uh, make a DC 14 constitution saving throw. Oh, how do I do that? I don't know. Uh, on your... On your character sheet, there's a, if there's a list of saving throws. Click on the constitution one. Nope. 
and then basically click on this button right here. If you can look up, I look at the, the stream for a second. The thing under proficiency bonus. Yep. Choose Constitution. Hang on, I'm gonna look it up. It's your core character sheet. Right next, uh, under inspiration, then proficiency bonus, and then you got the six saving throws. Yep. I got death saves, that's what. Not the death saves. Further left, uh, just just next to the, the, the big check, line. Check Discord. The... Yeah. There you go. I posted in Discord. Thank you. Oh, constitution. Yep, just click on the Constitution. Hey, um, your maximum HP is reduced by 26 until you have a long rest. All right, that's the Wraith's turn. Grunthos, you're up. I am going to drop my bow and start poking the wraith with a fiery spear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, he what? has not taken any damage yet. He has not taken any damage yet. Um, okay. I think I crit him. Um, do you have advantage on... Pack tactics. Pack Last tactics. one is within, within yep. five feet of so, the target. So, yes, you critted. So... He takes... And technically, the fire damage is doubled no, as well. No, it is not. Only the only the 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 dice uh, uh in only the only the weapon damage dice, not the the fire dice or the anything else dice. Uh, so you did. You don't you have another d six to roll for the damage on the crit? Uh. The spare auto rolled uh, the crit. Oh, okay. This is eight, eight ah, plus yes. two. No, no, no. Okay, so that is ten fifteen. Uh, you 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 nail this thing really well, and it doesn't look like it's taking as much damage as you expect it to. The second one is also a hit. Doing a total of seven. Plus that. Uh, okay. Fire, da fire damage every time. All right. Yeah, it's not looking super beat up. You you, 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 you annoyed it slightly. Uh, Vergeros. I'm going to do fire bolt on the right next to Razvan. Okay. That hits for that much damage? Yes, nine damage. I think. Or is it the double D No it it rolled to it rolled it. Two D ten. Okay, yeah. Alright. It's still not looking that damaged. Uh Hollock. I continue stabbing the one in the north. Go for it. 23 hits. For 13 damage. 16 does not. So that's white 2. Or willow 2. Willow 2 uh, evaporates. So will of the wisp 2 
he evaporates. Oopsie, I already hit the wrong button. F dead. All right. Nope. Yeah, well, that actually works out well. All right. Um, going to do anything else, Hawk? Mm, no. Okay. Uh, Horgold. I'm going to... Um... Oh, wait, I need to look up if it's two-handed or not. I'm not sure if I can even equip it. Come on, work faster. No, it's not two-handed. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I don't have actions enough to, to do that at all. So I will change my um, short bow over to my nine life stealer, and I will hit that one. Oh. Okay. That one. Yep, the white. Um, that was the wrong. Oh. Just roll it in. Oh, it's. I pushed. I was pushing always the same button, so. Yeah, that hits for eleven damage. Uh. He looks unconcerned. All right, after Horgold, Razvan. Um, by the way, the, the 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 wraith hitting you hurt like you felt your life draining out when it hit you, and it felt it felt like all sort of sickness. Um, since you are relatively new to D and D, I will give you some hints. Uh, well, for one thing, okay, so roll knowledge religion, please, before before you do anything else. All right, so you are aware that this thing uh, reduces damage or ignores damage from non-magical sources, um, and actually a lot of, lot of magical sources. You also know that you have a, I think it's a Mace of Disruption, which is built for killing undead things. Um, one more thing, you also, as a paladin, have uh, an ability called... Shoot, just forgot the name. Um, d -d 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 -d. Are you thinking about turn undead? Uh, it might be turn undead. What? Not under spells. All those spells would be good too. Um, yeah. Um, oh, my brain will reset. Yes, I am, it, it turns into turn undead when you use it on an undead. It is, um... Paladin. Turn the unholy. Uh, divine... Divine smite, for one thing. Uh, okay, so divine smite. Starting at second level, you can hit a creature with a melee att weapon attack... If you spend one spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target, in addition to the weapon's damage, the damage is 2d8 for a first level spell slot, plus 1d8 for every spell higher. This damage increases by 1d8 if target is undead or fiend. This thing is undead. Um, I don't well, see that spell in my... Divine Smite is on page 85 of the book. It is a paladin class ability. Basically, in instead of casting a spell, you just hit it with lots of damage. You, uh, with, you took Sacred Oath? Or which, which oath did you take? Uh, Devotion. Devotion? All right. Uh, you also get Channel Divinity. Uh, your, your oath allows you to div channel divine energy to fuel magical effects. When you use your channel divinity, you can you can choose which option. Um, 
D D D D D Channel of Entities covered under Sacred Oath, I believe. Uh, sacred Weapon on page 86. Uh, as an action, you can imbue one weapon you are holding with positive energy using your channel divinity. For one minute, you add your charisma modifier to attack rolls made with that weapon, and it also emits bright light. Uh, and turn the unholy as an action. You present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, censoring fiends and undead using your channel divinity. Each fiend or undead that can see you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails, it's turn for one minute. Um, uh, basically, you, uh, I would suggest switching out for your disrupting mace and either either using channel divinity or uh, divine smite to, to to really put the hurt on this thing. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Then I will do that to the red. Right. So, spe specifically, what are you doing other than? I use the mace of disruption on okay. the red. Yep. With yep. the uh, uh, channel ability. Uh, sacred weapon. All right. All right. So, uh, go ahead and roll your attack. Oh, of the maze? Yes. Holy buckets, Batman! <laughs> Alright, so it does... 23. 23 damage. Plus more because I'm dead? Uh, no, uh, I don't have that weapon pulled up. Let me let me pull it up quick. Uh, biddy 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 biddy. Uh, mace of disruption. Nope. No, I didn't want to roll it. I wanted to see it. Stop. Uh, that doesn't tell me all the stuff. I'll have to look it up. All right. Stop being dumb, computer. Okay, Mace of Disruption. Uh, not, not more because of... Uh, oh, it, it already uh, added the 2d6. All right. Yeah. So it did... But, uh, 6, 9, plus 9, 14 is 23 damage. All right. Wraith is looking real real sore right now. Uh Paladins have extra attack at level five as well. So, so you can you can you can swing your weapon again. And I shall do that then. Yeah, yeah. You can just hit him again with your mace of disruption. Oh, cool. If the target had twenty five hit points or fewer after taking this damage, it must make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or be destroyed. Uh, okay. Well, I'll check that. Wisdom saving throw. Oh, it, it, it did just fine. Um, and you don't have advantage, so that misses. Wait a minute. No, yeah, it's a... It's a natural one. It misses. All right. Uh, after... Razvan, uh, the Wills get some turns. So Will of the Wisp, shock at Ho uh, Holocall. Uh, 19 hit. Yeah. Take seven lightning damage, please. Uh, white, or er, well, we'll do. Let's do the white first. Uh, multi attack, life drain, life drain attack. Uh, 18 hit. Against uh, uh, Horgold. Oh, what was the uh, attack? Eighteen. Life, li life drain. Eighteen. Oh, I will use Uncanny Dodge and yep. it hits. Uh, so take three necrotic, which lowers your maximum hit points by three. 
DC okay. saving throw. Uh, yeah, oh, well, yeah, DC saving throw. And then uh, 14 to hit for the, 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 oh, you did it, so it just did three damage. And 14 four, doesn't hit. 14 misses. All right, will the wisp on you. Uh, shock, 12 misses. Uh, Wraith against Razvan. He really didn't like, uh, d -d -d -d. He really didn't like getting hit by you, so he's going to hit you again with his life drain attack. Uh, 18. Mm, I have armor 18. So I believe Ty goes to the attacker. Meet it, beat it. Yep, meet it, beat it. So do you take... Uh, 23 necrotic. Reduces your maximum hit points by 23. Only temporarily. Are you at zero hit points? Or lower? I think I am. Welp. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to get to make some death saving throws uh, on your turn. Doesn't it say the target dies? Yeah, I'm not going to be quite that mean. He's also okay. a paladin. All right. Um, I th ooh. Uh, by the way, if you do manage to die, you, he gets to raise a friend. Uh, Grunthos, your turn. You see Razvan fall be beside you. Does he make he, he, he did not like that. Uh -uh. So. Wraith, Wraith is going to get beat, but I don't have advantage anymore. <sighs> Alright, 21 hits. Doing... 19 damage. Plus... 15. 10. Hold on. Um, the first attack kills the wraith. It it goes away in a puff of smoke. Then I do that. Okay. So moved there. Uh, Vergeros. If the first attack killed it, I'm moving to help Orgold. Right. Do you still can you still do a multi attack if you've moved? Yes, I can split up the attacks. I can attack, move, attack. Okay. Well, then attack. Uh, hit with an eighteen. 18. Yes. So, 18 damage. Uh, against white, two... All right. All right. That's my turn. Okay. If it is like this, I can hit him without hitting anyone else, right? Yep. Or do I hit Gruntos? Nope. I'm going to do a. Uh, I'm going to do a fire bolt to him. All right, roll it. Uh, thirteen misses. So the the fire bolt splashes against the wall behind the 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 white. Okay, I'm going to move. Can I move here to help uh, Holocall? Yes. Okay. That's my turn, I think. All right, Holoc, you're up. 
I stabbed the one wisp left. Okay. 23 hits. Just 23 hits. And so does 25. Uh, you did total of 25 damage. Yes. Uh, so that, that will the wisp uh, evaporates in a cloud of uh, nasty smoke nastiness. All right, uh, Horgold, you're up. I'm going to attack that dude again. Okay. Uh, 22 hits. Four nine damage. Yep. He is not dead yet, but he's looking real unhappy with his un, un life. Uh, That's a wall, I guess, there? Yeah, that is a wall. Then I'll stay put. All right. Uh, Razvan, please make a roll a 1d20. Get a, get a 10 or above, please. Hey, you succeeded on your first death saving throw. You're still at zero hit points. Uh, <laughs> Willow the Wisp. You're, he's dead. Nope, see, that's the wrong thing. You. Dead. Willow the Wisp 3. Shock damage. At Horgold. An 11. Misses. Uh, White. Um, he's gonna split his attacks. Uh, Horgold, you're gonna get the life drain attack, and then uh, Grunthos, he's gonna attack at you with the longsword. Uh, twenty three to hit you. I get any dodge. Three necrotic div two, so take one necrotic. Uh, and it does lower your maximum hit points. And then a longsword 21 to hit you, Grunthos. Yeah. Five damage. And the Wraith is dead. Yep. And everything almost is dead. Grunthos, you're up. I don't like that that thing is attacking my friend. You hit it. Um, do 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 do. Yeah, it's, it's 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 very dead. Bonus action: move the hunter's mark to the willow the wisp. Okay, so you walked. That's fine. You can walk there. <coughs> is it at full health? It is, in fact, at full health. Um, uh, 19 hit, 19 hits for how much damage? 22. It, it, it evaporates in, in a nasty cloud of undeath. So we're just going to delete you, not delete you. All right, Razvan, is anybody going to help, uh, Razvan trying to... Uh, give him better. Uh, give him a healing roll to help him not be dead. I'm, I'm uh, giving him a healing potion. Uh, healing potion will stabilize him, but won't give him any hit points because he was drained. Oh yeah. Do I know that? Give me. Do I know knowledge religion? Uh, fourteen. Uh, you don't know that about yourself even. Or Grunthos, never mind. Seventeen, yes. You you would know that the the drain attack basically you got to sleep on it. Then I won't sacrifice a healing potion. All right. Uh, so, so, can so, can I use the spell magic on that or not? 
Nope. It is not. It's not a magical effect. It is a. It is a drain effect. Okay. I'm planning to burn a cure wounds on him. Uh, cure wounds would work. Again, would stabilize him, but not. But not give him any HP. At least he's not dying then. Right. Yep. And mm -hmm. it, those of Fair you who have lo lost maximum hit points uh, with the 17 whore gold, you would know that you get you guys got to basically sleep on that before you can actually start recovering hit points. Is it a bad idea to sleep here? You probably want to go back to your ship. I wouldn't want to sleep in this room. No, no, but I mean on this moment. Um... How long is it to get back to the ship? Uh, so you're gonna have to basically carry Razvan th there because he's mobile-ish. Um, it's gonna take probably four or five hours to get back to the ship from here. Um, and I'm going to. There, there are still zombies around in town. Um, I'm going to roll a just a random, random damage table um, to see if any of you take any further damage. Just the, the zombies aren't hard to kill, but there's a fair number of them. It, 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 it was a question that we take the action. Right. Um. By the way, I pick up my bow, which is lying right around Vergaros' position at this. So, we want Rasfest back up on his feet, of course. Right. And it's not safe to sleep here. So the best action, indeed, is probably to go back to a ship. Mm, I can relate to that, because I think it would be a good idea to get Rasfest back up. Yep. So, you guys, um, you guys head back to the ship. By the time you get there and take a long rest, it is the next day. Um, uh, DT. And yeah, that's what would happen. Um, so it is the second of Jet. Um, so everybody take whatever, whatever, does long rest just recovers everything? Yep. All right. So, recover everything back to full HP and full everything. Um, yeah, I only used... Alright, so you guys, you guys head back, uh, get back here, um, and... Oh, no. do, 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 do. Yep, yep. And any loot from the guys who killed? Uh, no, everything they had was pretty rough. So, um, Hollock, make sure you get your HP back to full. You guys get back down into into this this uh, this thing, and we're going to move you. Hold on, layer. Dink. So, you come back, and there are now four whites here and one will-o'-the-wisp. What? <laughs> Damn it. Well, you were gone for a day. Oh, we cannot see the names again, by the way. Oh, well, yeah. Hold on. The red ones are whites, and the... Layer, 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 layer. Hold on. I gotta be on the correct layer. Dink. There we go. Uh, you. Advanced. C. Save. You. Advanced. C. Save. At least there's no... There's no, um... Wraith. Wraith this time. Oopsie. Wrong thing. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna roll initiative. C. Save. Oh, God. All right, and I get a twenty nine. All right, uh, do 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 do. Four. Uh, I'm gonna move the 
this guy right over here because it's more convenient up there. Uh, 22. All right, so we have um, Grunthos with 15, Virgeros with four, Holic with 21, uh, Horgold with uh, 21. I'm assuming Horgold goes before Holocall, and Razvan with seven. Uh, your your Mace, if you have it out, Razvan also emits light if there's undead around. And hey, guess what? There's undead around. Cool. So, <laughs> so guys, uh, re reorganize yourself in however way you want to be laid out to get to here. Uh, X. V. The force from the cube works both ways, I guess. Yep, it does, in fact. All right, Horgold, you're up. Darn. You didn't want to go first? Uh, let Holocall go first. We have the same dexterity. Oh, okay. Well, then, Holocall, you're up. Oakley doakley. I think I will drop my torch like last time and head to White One to stab him. All right. Uh, your torch stays lit. Where did Chatty go? Where did Chatty go? Hold on, my, my, my chat program is missing. Oh, there it is. Haha, -ha! cancel. Found you. Much better. Uh, okay, so stabbing white one. Sure, go for it. Uh, 29 absolutely hits. 17 damage. And 17 more damage. Holy crap. Okay. It's unhappy with its undeath, but it's not re-dead yet. Uh, Horgold... Uh, I'm gonna put a bolt in him or arrow. Okay. Fourteen hits. Fifteen damage. Fifteen. White one is down. Um, <laughs> I'm still gonna try to hide. I'm not learning from that. I can see. Me. Okay. Uh, Horgold. Grunthos. White one is down. Just put an X through here. There we go. You guys can see the uh, X, right? Yeah. yeah. We can. Yep. yeah. Hunter's Mark Y2. Uh, two bow shot. Okay. Go for it. 11 does not hit. 20 is a critical hit for a total of 13 damage. Uh, 
that's your turn question mark yeah that's my turn all right so he and he and he all saw those guys do a bunch of damage yeah one two five ten fifteen twenty it's about right at the limit of range uh yep nope we're not gonna get there we'll get there though all right uh will o the wisp against uh Raz Razvan didn't do anything yet uh, against Grunthos. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. Take nine lightning damage, please. All right. Yep. White three, multi-attack, life drain, first round. 14 to hit, misses. Uh, 10 to hit, misses. Uh, this guy, uh, life drain against Grunthos. Uh, 13 misses, question mark? Yep. Misses. 20 hits. Yep. Take 10 slashing damage. And this guy, multi attack, life drain against Holoc. Uh, 7 misses. And long sword, 17 Holoc call. Holoc call. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. It hits. All right, so take uh, seven slashing damage, Holic. And that's everybody. Uh, Razvan, you're up. Uh, attacking Will of Wisps, one. Okay. With the uh, mace. Okay. Are you going to channel Divinity or, or not? Uh, no. No, okay. Roll it. 23 hits for 18 damage. Uh, the the will o' the wisp fades perceptibly. Uh, you have another attack if you want to take it. Nine misses. Always. <laughs> All right. Uh, Vigoros, you're up. I'm going to attack the uh, white three. Okay. With the uh, firebolt. Yep. Go for it. Twelve misses. So the firebolt splashes into the pillar behind the white. Doing no damage. You can still move if you wish. I'm going to move a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait. Yep, that is perfectly valid. Uh... Holocall, you're up. I turn to the white. I can't see the number, but the one. No, number two. Right number two. two. Yep. And seven. Go for it. That hits and does 12 damage. And another. You just do 12 damage every time. Uh, 24 damage. That much left. All right, White 2's not dead, but he's really, really stabbed. Really stabbed. Uh, Horgold, unless, unless Horgold wants to move. Mm, no, I am finished. Okay. I'm going to attack the same one. Okay. 25. Absolutely hits uh, and kills it with that shot. Um, That's it. All right. Uh, Grunthos. So the one I originally shot at is dead? Uh, Hold on. Dead. Uh, bonus action move. Uh, 
a hunter's mark to white four, I'm guessing, because I can see number three, not number four. The yep. one's right in front of me. And drop the bow and stabby stabby with the spear. Okie dokie. Do you get you get uh, advantage on that, right? Pack yep, tactics? I do. <laughs> yeah, you hit. For seven plus six plus four, so it's seventeen damage. Yep. And another that hits. Thirteen hits? Okay. No, it doesn't actually. Sorry. Uh. I I I I got my ACs mixed up between some of my stuff here. Uh you did 17 yep. damage, right? Yep, 17. On the first attack, missed the second. Staying put. That's my turn. Okay. All right, after Grunthos, they get a turn. Um, We're going to do a little rotation. Rotate, rotate, rotate. They really don't like paladins. Um... White 3 right. is going to split between Grunthos and Razavan, and White 4 is going to do the same. Uh, the Necrotics are going to go after Razavan. So, life during attack at from White 3 uh, misses. Uh, from White 4 misses. Uh, Longsword attacks at uh, uh, Grunthos. 18. It's Eight damage. Twelve. Miss misses. All right, uh, and then will of the wisp. Actually, those guys should have had advantage. Oh well, I don't care. Um, it didn't matter. They got real low rolls. They, I, the, the, the advantage. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, will of the wisp. Shocked damage after the paladin. Nine misses. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss. Uh, Razvan, you're up. I gotta attack the Will of Wisp again. Okay. With the maze. Yep. Cool. Uh, 17 misses. Box. What, do I get another again? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. Hit 19 Ooh. hits. So you do forever in, in, a, in an amount of damage to uh, Will of the Wisp is dead. Yay. Mark that one. All right. Uh, Virgeros. I'm going to do a firebolt on the closest right. That's why three. Okay, yep. Go for it. Hits. Only four, wow. That's really low. Well, it's got damage now, so one of one of the characters really cares about that. Um Move if you want to. I'm moving to there. Alright, sounds good. Uh, Holocall, you're up. Mm, okay, I think I will move up to this one. Sure. And uh, stab it again and again. All right, again and again and again and again. 18 does 17 damage. That hits. Uh, uh, 17, 30 damage against white three. It's not dead, but it hates its life. <coughs> All right. Uh, Horkold, you're up. I'm going to disengage as a bonus action. Yep. Um, I'm gonna fire at white three. 
Uh, crit? It's crit, and it's a lot of damage. Oh, it's got sneak. Yeah, it's got sneak. Uh, white three is... I don't even think... Yeah, no, it's dead. I don't even need to total it up. It's way dead. It's not only dead, it's gone. <laughs> and I'll move a little bit. Right there. All right. Uh, is that all of your actions? Yep. All right. Uh, Grunthos, you're up. White four is all that's left. I think he's the one that has your mark, right? Well, either way, it doesn't matter. Yes. Um, yeah, that does that. That hits. For how much? 25. It dies. Alright. So, those of you who successfully rolled your perception checks notice that within a couple of minutes of their expiry, um, so the Will of the Wisps pretty much vanish uh, as soon as they're, they, they, like, like, they're kind of a glowy light that just kind of poofs into nasty nothingness. Um, the rest of the bodies slowly dissolve, uh, as you guys are what, as you guys are, are seeing, um, since most of you made it, um, you can point out to the others that the bodies from yesterday are completely gone and within probably five minutes of their expiration, um, the whites bodies are basically smudges on the floor. This place smells bad. All right, so this room is clear. Nobody died this time. Woohoo! Yay. I look around at the room to check if I see anything particular for markings or writings on the wall. Uh. What all languages do you have? A lot. Do you have Celestial? Just a sec. I have Common, Draconic, Elvish, Chinese, Orc, and Sylvan. Nope. Okay, so there's definitely writing on the wall in this room, um, but you do not recognize the script. Um... Uh, looking around the room, so this building, when you guys came upon it at first, looked like it had sunk into this kind of swampy land. Um, in in this part, you think that this was the original um, like entryway. It's now like piled up with dirt and blocking it. Um, this place smells of death and decay. Um, along each of the pillars, there is a, like a three pronged place where you could hang lights or torches or similar. Um, you can see you can... windows where windows would be, um, like with dirt like... flowing through them in just kind of in between every, um, every location, every like here, here. Um, they don't, ha they, there's no glass there though. So you think they would be, have like oil cloth or something, but, um, dirt just, just packed into the side of this and kind of flowing into the room a little bit. Do I recognize that the symbols are a language written? Uh, yes. You recognize that the symbols on the walls are, are, are written language. Uh, everybody give me knowledge religion. Comprehend languages. Comprehend languages. Oh. You'd like to cast, cast this. You, you last for an hour? Sweet. Um, holy Grunthos, how did you do that? So, uh, Grunthos and Holocall. Uh, Grunthos, just by kind of remembering something from his past, Holocall by reading the script on the wall. This is a... Oh, shoot. Words. Uh, this is a temple of Raya. So, blessings of Raya, Holoc, you can, you can read, are written covering, 
covering the the, the walls um uh and he, like blessings of spring and growth and and uh um, everything like that. Grunthos, you recognize in amongst the text you've seen in other temples the, the, the celestial word for, or the celestial version of Raya's name. And you're like, oh, I recognize that. That, that's, that one. Um, everybody else, uh, nope. But you can have it explained to you if, if people want to explain it. Explain it. Uh, because I'm quite new with this, I read, a, read it aloud, out loud. All right, so, so all you, right. you read it to uh, Raya is the goddess of spring. I'll type it into chat. Right, R Y A A R R A Y Y A Raya. Um, so you guys have. I'm sure all been in a temple of Raya in the past. Now that you have had it pointed out, you, 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 you see some of the stuff. Um, this place is, seems ancient though. There's like moss covering the walls. Um, the, there's definitely been some changes to the blessings written on the wall over time. Um, and it's, it's very, this is very old seeming like, this this place is not in any sense new. All right, that's pretty much what you get from this room. Um, the floor is like not really cobbled stone, but it is like fitted stone tiles, um, and the walls are stone like. Somebody took stone and made bricks out of it and then used those bricks to build the walls of this place. The, the, the scree here is a mixture of stone and dirt. And it looks like, uh, actually give me an investigate role. Anybody who's looking carefully around the room. Uh, 17, 18 are good enough. Uh, 11, not as much. So, um, <laughs> probably got those. Um, so you see evidence, um, in the, like the dirt around this opening and in the scree itself of like shovel. Somebody dug this this opening down and basically knocked one of the support beams um somehow knocked one of the support beams uh you're not exactly sure how down which allowed this to collapse down you see a door here uh that is blocked by dirt uh windows around the various parts of the room which i pointed out earlier and a knocked down wall section there and there's some old rotted four 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 legged stools in in this room that you can see. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate that room. All right, so so the light from your friends, you put, peek your head around the corner. Um, into this room, it is a small, what, 15 by 20 foot room. Uh, it's got a, it's got some stools. Looks like there's some, some footprints, uh, leading from this closed door. Um, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Um, and leading into this room looks like basically these stools have kind of been knocked out of the way as people and creatures move past into this main area. Um, and the store is closed. Uh, there, from from looking at it, there's no 
there's no like handle lock. It's just got a loop of, of something like leather or something uh, on the door. And it looks like it opens into the room. Does anybody has a light source? I asked to the party. I have the an torch. torch with me. I still have the torch burning in my hand. And Razavan's mace is glowing gently. <laughs> so that written that near? Yep. Yes. And the door was made of leather? No, no, the door is made of, of really, it's like really old looking wood, uh, but there's like a, leather is the only word I can use to describe it, um, just, just, a, there's no handle on this door, it's just like a strap. Like, there's no mechanism to lock it. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna use Mage Hand to push the door open from it. Uh, so you use See mage, if it moves. You move. You you use mage hand to push on the door. It does not move. Pull, pull. You use mage hand to pull on the door, and it opens with kind of a little bit of resistance. Um, if you let go of mage hand, the door uh, just on the weight of of how it's arranged slowly swings itself back closed. But opening up that polygon reveal, so you can see there. There, there, there. But the door is easy to hold open. Like, it's not, it's just the weight of the door swinging it closed. It's not, it's not like it's spring-loaded or anything. Well, let's investigate the next area, then. All right. looking looking through peeking your head around the corner of the door again looking through this area you see a 10 foot wide hallway uh unmarked there's sconces for oil lanterns or torches along the length of the wall let me get to the reveal area thing there it is reveal areas no that that one haha -ha. all right so you can see down here pretty easily. Um, so you you see down a hallway um, with the light of your friend's torches. Um, you can see the entire length. There looks like there's a couple more doors at the ends of this hall that are full of dirt and gunk and muck. Um, not much else. Question for the GM. Yes. The floor around the, the door we're currently gathered around. Is there any place to jam a javelin or something into the floor to keep the door open? Uh, if anybody has a piton and a hammer, they can drive that in too pretty easily. Uh, anything else would be a little more makeshift. I got those. I've got a whole lot of javelins I'm not using. I got a pit and a hammer. I got a climbers kit. So with pit, no, with pit, pit and a hammer, you can you can drive it into the floor pretty easily and keep the door held open without any problem. I'll do I'll that. Just jam it open as uh, parts from the stools. <laughs> you could probably also do that. Uh, well, no, the stools wood is pretty rotten. The door seems to be made of some pretty hard stuff, but the the wooden stools have been kicked around enough that they're not very. Um... So, no, so we see we see, we see the other doors, right? And hold on, let me let me give you just a some... little little more revealed to make sure you can actually see. Okay, you can see that I, I I have trouble seeing what you guys are seeing. So Holic is standing right next to a door. So is Grunthos. And this this is a hallway, yes. I can see in the dark, so I can see all the doors. Yes. Also, torches are abound. Yeah, torches are abound. You can see... What's the, what's the measure distance one? For uh, the circle with the kind of the ruler thing coming yeah, so, up. So, um, 
Yeah, you guys got bright light to there and dim light to there, basically. Okay, uh, I tell on the end of the hallway I see more doors than the four we see already. Right. I well, can see a pebble there. I don't want to be attacked in the back, so probably take the door that's closest first. Yeah, clear this out room by one. I, room I one, 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 one. Alright, so uh, this door is jammed shut. Um, it, again, opens into the other room. You think a good hard shove will open it up. You're not sure what it's jammed on. Uh, DC 10 strength check by somebody to open this door. This door right there. <coughs> so you put your shoulder into it, Grunthos. Um, there was like a stone that kind of got moved out of place, but you, you shove on the door and a little piece of the wood on the bottom kind of scrapes off and it swings open and just is just resting against the back there and reveal areas. So go ahead and reveal that. So this room again is full of stools. There looks to be like a slate or something, uh, fallen down on this wall. Um, very, very, very unused, musty smelling. This room has been closed uh, for a very long time. Close it again, it smells. Do I see yeah. something on this side of the hallway? So that is a doorway um, that is full. It's like um, there was, you can see like the door frame there. But just like muck and mud have have kind of pushed their way into the door, kind of flowing out into the hall a little bit. Kind of like the first door we saw. Yeah, so this this door is very similar to Perception Check Grunthos, uh, that door there. I gotta check something. All right. I think you might be good. The DM pulls out books. We're all gonna die. Uh huh. One of the reasons I asked if we had encountered traps before was how would Grantos react? No traps? Everything's. All right. So meet beat, right? Yep. So Grunthos, as you go to step forward you 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 smell or sense something somehow on the floor in front of you and you just give me a dexterity check because you weren't really paying attention so i want to see if you can not step on this thing 17 you're good so you kind of grab a hold of the wall and you 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 stop yourself from stepping onto something on the floor you're not sure what uh, something's on the floor here, and I go down and try and figure out what the devil this is. Uh, you can give me knowledge, Arcana, because you have noticed it. Uh, investigate, nope. Arcana, nope. Uh, you point out the spot on the floor, everybody else can make an investigate or perception check, whichever is better, to see what's in front of Grunthos. DC 15. Investigation? Whichever's better. Investigate or perception. Uh, Vigoros does not get it. Horgold does. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move you... So you you guys see something on the floor in that location that I just marked out. Horgold Arcana. Twenty is good enough. Uh there is a um My brain just, just went poof. Uh there is a 
There is an arcane mark on the floor. Um, you, with a 20 on arcana, you are pretty sure that anything living would trigger it. You do not know what triggering it does. But you can mark out its space on the floor pretty easily. Watch out, there's some sort of alarm on the floor. <coughs> Does my creature know it's magical? Does my character know that? Uh, from what Horgold has told you, yes. Can I use the spell magic to... Uh... To, to uh, hold the alarm or you, you enable can, it some, some. You can attempt dispel magic to disable it. Uh, you will need to make a spellcraft check. I will warn you because this is a magical d thing. Um, if you miss the spellcraft check by too much, you will trigger whatever it is. Um, so uh, it's DC. Should have left the book out. Uh, probably DC eighteen. Uh, dispel magic. Uh, uh, your your magic check. Don't. So. So you cast your dispel magic. Uses burns one of, the, burns one of the one of your whatever level of magic that is. Um, unless you want to burn a higher level one. Um, and um, you need to make a spellcraft check, which is uh, d20 plus your proficiency modifier plus your your uh, your charisma modifier, um, I believe, for spellcraft. How can I do that? Sorry, it's first time. So just a deep. Let me pop out your thing and look at it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 just, you're fine. Just use a normal charisma check. Uh, yep, just use your normal charisma check. So, like that. Yep, and you failed it by more than five. Uh, no, you failed it by four. So. You did not fail it by too much. Uh, you feel your Dispel Magic reach out and attack this symbol on the floor, and uh, you fight it for a few moments, and uh, eventually your Dispel Magic fizzles without removing this thing on the floor. Well, I tried to get it away, but it didn't work. It's still there, so watch out. Um, and you can cast that up to three times a day, by the way. There was no proficiency in that role. Oh, there was no proficiency in that role. So it was, and I have, per, I have proficiency in. So it was three higher. It was still too low, but it, it was less low than it right. So d twenty plus six. So yeah, you have you have two more castings of that spell level every day. Um, if you want to try again, uh, otherwise somebody else can try something depending on what they want to try. I'm thinking about stuff. Grunt Gruntos is thinking about stuff too. But it's triggered by living organism. Yeah, you you are you are with your twenty on your archive. You, it is it is triggered by life passing over it. Over oh, as in stepping on it or over as in anything that lives and moves over it like uh, fly uh, or jump I, I, or climb I got an idea uh, you can well no a 20 um, it does not have to touch the, the surface flying over it could trigger it you're not 100% sure Okay, guys, I got an idea. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Huddle up around me, please. I'm 
going to press, uh, I'm going to um, surprise my party with a nice little cube that looks old and mysterious. And all sides has different symbols on them and different shapes and stuff like that. I'm going to press one side and it doesn't any spell effects through the barrier. Uh, do you have... Okay, so... How are you positioning that barrier? Thank you, Cube of Force is what I was looking for. That is the wrong place for that. That is the right place for that. All right. Yep. Yep. Burns four charges. How are you orienting Indeed. this thing? It's a cube around me. It's. Uh. Let me. I'm gonna read the thing. Cube starts with three charges. Each force has a different effect. Cube has emission charges. Barrier of invisible spores forming a cube 15 feet on a side. All right. Three. Um, and then we huddle. Yep. Across. So you have to stand on the floor so you need a f something to get your feet off the ground or you have to jump across to not trigger this thing otherwise your feet will be touching the floor the floor it contains the th uh, the, the symbol then we have to climb up five feet right you just have to you just have to get off the ground somehow I will just jump up five feet uh so jump checks to, to cross a 10 foot span. I think. No, no. If we on the pressure floor, the cube won't drop because it cannot penetrate the magic. Right. I cannot move. Uh, like if I say uh, okay. it's life force, I cannot move through that life force. All right. So, yes. So if you stood there and allowed everybody else to cross then then they could so everybody else can get across um, because magical effects can't pass the barrier um well we have to climb up we have to climb so, up the magical thing so so what i'm saying is everybody can get across with your cube of force active um except for you unless you like climb up off of the floor and like shimmy your way across does that make sense uh... that make... so you you can move the cube across everybody else can walk across here because the 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 they're touching the floor the cubes magical whatever is keeping their feet from touching it but because your feet your whole my brain hurts I'm going to go no, no, with I'm... <laughs> everybody else can cross except for you unless you get off the floor. Okay. Um, the, the, the cube needs to be higher because otherwise it will touch the floor and then the magic will... You know, uh, I cannot cross because the magic field is disrupting it. Uh, I'm just... I, I grunt those... Is... <laughs> Almost just walking onto that thing. <laughs> now you guys are all across. We just need to find a way to, for me to get across. Um. That oh, was a bad thing. Um. So your spear. I mean, you could. So, so Razavan, what you could do is you could tunnel out this way, tunnel around to the other side, and tunnel back in on this side. 
because you have uh, the tunnel effect from your spear. Wait, which side? So, so this is a door that's got full of mud and gunk right here. So you can tunnel out there, oh. move up and around and over, and tunnel back in over here. Oh, the, the one on the right. Right. Right? All right. That doesn't help me yet, though. Nope, doesn't help you at, yet. No, really. <laughs> I could use fly on you, or hold, but I'm not sure if it's going to trigger the same effect. We just don't need it. That's the floor. Well, that's my experience with traps and stuff like this. You don't want to touch the floor. Yeah, your arcana check tells you you just don't want to touch the floor. As long as you have your force of your cube of force active. Okay, so if I jump if I do fly on him, I can fly him over to the other side, right? Yes, he can fly over to the other side. And you could have already crossed before that happens. Yeah, I know, sorry. I already crossed. Alright, so uh so I'm doing fly on or holds. And that's my second spell I'm using. And now Horgol can cross as well. Yay. And Razvan, you're across as well, so... Uh, you guys one have... One thing I, I I was forgetting. Horgol, did you want to fly? <laughs> yes. Yes. You have to be willing. Okay, yeah. yeah, it must be willing. Sorry, I forgot. I don't want to... Those two doors are tricky, though, but... Uh... Let's leave. We can try to go there. To check them out. If that would well, make you feel better. I can see a double door now, right? Yes. That in piques my interest for some reason. Well then, let's go there. But I still remember your first advice. Watch yeah. our backs first. Don't listen to Hoggle. <laughs> I, I have intelligence. I'm not wise. Ah. Yeah. I would suggest to first check the rooms on the end. To be sure that nothing can attack us in the back. But yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, if the rest of the body agrees, we'll do that. <sighs> if someone <sighs> dies, it's not my fault. Oh, it's totally your fault. You know, no one is forcing you, you could go alone. When are you going to open first? Or try to open? That one. All right. Um, ye... Who's opening the door? I'm trying to open the top one. Yeah, give me a stealth roll, please. Is its perception okay? Uh, huh. All right. So, you you open the door, po po poking your head in, trying to be very very sneaky. Inside of this inside of this relatively small room is a very large man. Hold on, gotta get to the right layer. Uh, that one, okay. Layer, uh, nope, not both of them. Advanced, ungroup. Uh, layer, token layer. Uh, is a very large man, uh, made of clay. Um, and as you poke your head in, he, he turns around and 
si- like like opens his its hope we'll go with its opens its mouth and silently screams at you and and starts charging your direction and we'll go ahead and end it there for this week so uh thank you everybody for watching we will pick up back up again next week with the continuation of this dungeon it took a little longer than i expected but i about killed one of the players and that's probably why so uh, everybody, thank you for watching. It's been great having you here. Uh, I'll be back again, actually two weeks, probably. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Great having you here. Bye.